But at this point, I want to bring in our second guest, Alette Van Sale, who is the head of marketing at Lowen Kutsia Properties. And um, she wants to talk to us about a new co-living development, which is under development in the Tiger Valley area for Devmark, uh, which is going to be one where you purchase your, your unit. Alette, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you so much, Pippa. Thanks for having me. And hi, Murray. It's good to, it's interesting to hear because many of the talking points, um, I fully agree with. Yeah. And I think what's so interesting about the co-living concept is there are different uh, models that it can be approached. Um, so what, uh, Devmok, so we're the estate agent mm-hmm. for, uh, Devmok Property Group. Which and we recently launched a new co-living development uh, called UCO that stands for, as you previously mentioned, your co-living space. And UCO will form part of the new Galleria precinct, which is an 11.4 hectare mixed-use property development located in Tiger Valley, northern suburbs of Cape Town. And we will be doing 380 beautifully furnished. Uh, studio apartments, which is also serviced on a weekly basis. And you can purchase this property full out. So it's a sectional title basis. Um, The property will be on your name, but you can also rent it out. So even for your first time in a buyer, you want to own your own property. It's a great investment opportunity. Let's say you're starting your first job in the middle of Cape Town. You can't, it's quite expensive, but you can't travel, you can't travel in every day. What makes this so lucrative is that initial investment price. So between 659,000 to just over a million rand, you get your own uh, fully furnished studio unit and then access to a really impressive uh, communal um, amenity uh, uh, board. Alette, tell us a little bit about the extras that come with it and what those communal spaces include. Yeah, so the entities are quite awesome. I would want to live there if I could. So we're looking at communal meetings, study and workspaces, a fully functioning gym, beautiful coffee bar, lounge areas, bar and play area, as well as communal kitchens, similar to um, what Murray's uh, uh, products offer. Uh, The communal kitchens are on each floor. We also have a stunning courtyard, a swimming pool, another outdoor gym, a volleyball court, and even some uh, communal braai areas for everyone to enjoy. Alette, I mean, it sounds like a win-win, as, as Murray's already said uh, earlier. It, it is this, this best of both worlds, that you've got your own space to retreat to if you want it, but there is always this sense of community around you. How far away are you from, from, from that community becoming a reality? Is, is, is UCO already um, under construction, or, or, or have you got a date in mind? Well, we launched about three weeks ago, so you're a little bit quick on me, but we're looking to start construction early next year with occupation plan for 2024. So it's not an immediate thing if you want to move in tomorrow, but uh, we're very excited that that we'll be able to move into the ground and start construction early next year. So let a very interesting comment in from our listener, Amanda, who is, um, uh, she's transported herself from Cape Town to Ireland, and she's just shared a very interesting perspective uh, on this concept from Ireland. She says, in fact, Ireland is trying to ban co-living, mostly due to concerns about unscrupulous property developers who are building glorified tenements. There is a massive affordable housing crisis in Ireland. At least it's a crisis in their minds, she says. It's all about perspective. They've never had to deal with informal townships, and there are only about 8,000 homeless people for the whole country. So it is a very different mindset. What you've described and what Murray's described is, is a million miles away from, from a glorified tenement, Alette. But is that something, um, that perspective, one that needs to be managed, that, the, that this concept isn't manipulated and exploited by those who, who might turn it into that? Yeah, look, um, I think with any property development where sh- spaces are shared, it it's all comes down to the property management and the company got, um, running the, the amenities and facilities. You're doing proper credit controls of your tenants if you are buying this to, to rent out or if you're staying there yourself. I think what's interesting of the co-living space uh, 
your all your investors have the same um, uh, values. So they all want to protect the asset and they all want the property and the development to thrive. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a little bit different than in Ireland. Uh, as you know, we do uh, struggle with informal settlements. Many young upcoming professionals can't necessarily afford to live in Cape Town or in your more expensive CBD areas. So something like this offers them the opportunity to have something modern. The finishes are usually exquisite. If I look at our um, layout design, it's fresh, it's funky. Uh, you're not going to attract uh, the wrong type of tenant that's going to want to live there. What sort of size are the studio apartments, Alette? Well, we're looking at a city square, so it's not the not the biggest space. But if you look at the design of these units, it's actually spectacular. And I listened to an interesting talk uh, yesterday that they spoke about how the pandemic uh, influenced people's perception of space and what they need. And ironically, people have realized that your home, your internal space, is something we need less of. So we want more garden space, we want more fresh air space, we want spaces where we interact with people. So your actual living room is where you go to bed and maybe have some dinner. But we want to be out in the world, we want to connect. So I think that's what these co-living spaces focus on. It's not the hassle of having to manage your own property, cut uh, the grass on every Saturday and paint and etc. That all is managed for you. So you can go out and enjoy life and have community interaction. Alette Fancel, thanks for chatting to us, Head of Marketing at Lowen Kutsia Properties. And if you want to read up more and ask some uh, detailed questions about the UCO model, their website is uco.coza, Y-U-C-O.